Okay, today we are going to divide by 9 by using equal groups, factors, or a relation multiplication fact to divide by 9. Okay, let's read the first story problem. That kid class goes to the aquarium. The 27 students from the class are separated into nine equal groups. How many students are in each group? Hey, are you trying to find, I'm looking at the first blue box, um, the first question in the blue box. Do you need to find the number of equal groups or the number in each group? Look at the question. Are you trying to find the number of equal groups or the number in each group? What do you think, Tyson? In each group. The number in each group, you guys agree? Yes. Okay, the number in each group. Let's write that down. In person. Yeah. Oh, there you go. How about we just write number sign and then in each group? So we have enough room. Okay, and what label are we going to put on our answer? Aubrey? Students. All right, you agree? Yes. Okay, students. Okay. So, one way we can solve a problem like this, or any division problem, is by making equal groups. So, they want you to first, what's the first uh, direction that they have for you? First bullet point. Draw nine circles. Draw nine circles to show nine groups. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You're my first one. Okay, nine groups. <coughs> okay, what's the second direction? Draw one counter in each group. And then the third one. Oh, hold on. Count, Brian? Continue. Continue drawing one counter at a time until you get to 27 counters drawn. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And so how many counters do you guys have in each group? How many counters do you have, Eli? Three. How many counters do you have? Three. How many counters do you have? Three. Okay, hopefully the rest of you have the same amount. How many counters do you all have? Three. Three. Three counters in each group. So there are three, three in each group. And tw uh, 27 divided by 9 equals? Three. And then using the house way, 27 divided by 9 equals 3. All right. That's by using equal groups. You could find a multiplication and or a multiplication, a division answer by doing equal groups. Other ways is by using factors that you know. Finding factors for 27. If you know 9 is one of those factors, okay? And you know that 3 times 3 equals 9. You could divide 9 by 3. Divide, um, dividing 9 by 3 would be 9 divided by 3 is 27. No, that's times. Three. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Um, and then divided 
Okay, oh, sorry. You don't want to do 9 divided by 3. You want to do 27 divided by 3, which is 9. And then 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So you basically divide uh, 27 by 3 twice, and you would get 3. Yeah, that one was, I mean, yes, it is kind of confusing to me, but I can understand it too a little bit. Um, because 2 3s equals 9, so then you just divide 27 by 3 one time, but then you have to divide that, you have to divide 3 again. All right, now using your related multiplication fact, if you know that 9 times what equals 27? 3. 3. You know 9 times 3 equals 27. Then the related multi or division fact has to be 27 divided by 9 would equal 3. 3. Or you can do 27 divided by 3. Right, yes. Or you can do 27 divided by 3 equals 9. But they're asking for 27 divided by 9 is the only reason why I didn't base that one. Make sure you have these written down. I don't want to give you anything wrong because you're not writing things down, especially when you're not even on the right page. What multiplication fact can you find for 63 divided by 9? Instead of 63 divided by 9, let's do, it would be 9, no, not divided, times equals 63. Okay, what's the blank going to be? 9 times what? equals 63, guys. 9 times what equals 63? Now, remember your nines, guys. Your your tricks for nines. I did this one already. Right you could do the finger tricks. You could even think, okay, when I multiply by 9 and another number, like let's say I did 9 times 3. What's one less than three? Two. two. So the other number that you multiply by, when you do the answer, the first number is going to be one less than it. So look at this. What's our first number in 63? Six. Six. Six has to be less than the other number that you're multiplying by. So. What is, uh, what's six less than here, guys? What is six one less than? <gasps> Seven. No, 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 no. It's one more than five. What is six Seven. one less than? Seven. Or you could say, what's one more than six, I guess? So the answer Which is seven. seven. Yes. So the answer is seven because, okay, what's one less than seven? Six. Six, six plus what is nine? nine. Three. three, six plus three is nine. Okay, show and share. Um, Kevin, I'll go ahead and let you read the story problem. Carlos has twenty eight. He So there are the same number of fish in each of nine smaller tanks. How many fish will Carlos put in each smaller tank? All right, what are we needing to find? Go ahead, Xander. How many tanks will Carlos put? Okay, how many tame fish? How many tame? Oh, in cursive, remember. Oh, I'm not at the right person to think over again. Oh, sorry. How many tame fish? Carlos, 
Hi, has had a lot of years of practice in person, guys. That's why. Okay. <coughs> B asks, why do you need to use two operations to solve the problem? Okay, we need two operations because this is a two-step problem. But I want you guys to help me figure out what two operations we're going to do so then we can write that down, what we're going to do. So what's our first operation going to be? Nope. Multiplication is not going to be an operation in here. Um, so let's talk about, I, I was trying to show you. Carlos has 28 blue tame fish and 17 yellow tame fish in one tank. What is that telling us? Jacob? Um, that we're going to divide? No, it doesn't tell us that we're going to divide. Think about it, boys and girls. You have 28 blue and 17. Okay, so 28 and 17 fish in one tank. What is that telling us? Why? Okay, it ha does have the and word, which helps us know. And is addition a lot of times. Yes, guys, think about this. There's 28 blue fish. There's 17 yellow. They're all in one tank. So that means they are all together. They're all together, which is also adding and and all together. And when you put them all together, they it's a total, right? Yes. Okay, so the first step of the problem is to add. Okay, so right, I in cursive will <coughs> first add. 28 plus 17. RST. Okay, instead of making the numbers, because we will do the numbers later, we're going to say first I will add the total number of fish. Total, I'm not going to say the, because I'll just be extra word. Total number sign of fish. Uh, I will first make the Okay. We, um, our first step, we said the operation would be addition. We're going to find the total number of fish in the tank. But now let's keep looking. It says he wants to separate the fish so that there are the same number of fish in each of nine smaller tanks. Okay, when you are separating, are you getting rid of? Uh, no. no. So are we subtracting? No. No, you are just separating. <coughs> so what are we doing? What's our second step? Subtract. <coughs> okay. I just said separating, not giving away. Giving away or taking away is subtraction. We are not just giving away or taking away. We are separating into groups, <coughs> which is what we do when we're dividing. Okay, so division is the next step. Okay, and we're going to, we talked about the second step, is we're going to divide the total number of fish by nine smaller tanks. Okay, part C is where we are going to do what we said in part B. So first, we're going to add the total number of fish. Then the second step, going to divide this, that number of fish by 9. Okay, we said 28 plus 17 equals 45. And then 45 divided by 9 equals 5. Complete the sentences. Carlos has how many blue tank fish? 28. How many yellow tank fish? 17. He wants to separate the fish with the same number of fish in each of how many smaller tanks? 9. So Carlos will put how many fish in each smaller tank? 5. Okay, we are done.